Hey, what is going on guys? It's Apollo1 and today we are back with another episode of our DNA bomb with every gun in Advanced Warfare. This time with the MK14, a weapon that isn't used very often, uh, a weapon that, you know, you don't see too many gameplays with and you don't get really killed by it that often, uh, which is kind of surprising because the MK14 was a very good weapon in Modern Warfare 3 and it made a return and it's not that popular. And I think the reason on this is because that it's a one burst weapon you only can shoot one bullet at a time you can shoot it as fast as your finger can pull the trigger but it is still a one-shot weapon uh, and with that being said advanced warfare brought this whole new mechanic of jumping around the map and enemies are flying everywhere it's hard to lock onto your targets and uh, kill them with any weapon it's a little bit more difficult it's kind of a little more unpredictable because you don't really know where they're gonna shoot off to when you start shooting them and with a weapon that can only shoot one bullet at a time it's not exactly the best thing to use you kind of want to be able to shoot your enemy and and kind of follow them as they wherever they decide to go you want to follow them and keep shooting and follow and follow and follow but with this weapon you can't really do that you kind of have to lock on and shoot them and kind of kill them quick before they shoot off which is kind of difficult but carnage tank he does manage to follow his enemy several times and when he does you'll see that he does sh lose a lot of his shots he doesn't hit um a lot of his shots because they're moving and it's hard to do that uh, so you'll see that throughout this gameplay i thought that was kind of interesting and it is a good weapon that's the crazy thing it's a good weapon but because of the circumstances of advanced warfare it's not that uh, reliable and it's not the best choice to go for so uh, yeah that's that's my little spiel on the MK14. Now guys make sure to go check out Carnage Tank's channel down in the description below he actually does have a channel now finally um, so you can go down there and subscribe he's going to be posting a lot of his gameplays so uh, go over there check his channel out that would be greatly appreciated. Also if we could shoot for 500 likes on the DNA bomb with every gun series for the MK14 that would be absolutely awesome I haven't done a commentary on one of these DNA bombs with every weapon in a while so if we could shoot for 500 likes guys, that would be crazy. If not, it's completely fine. Also, he does have the diamond camo on this gun. This gameplay is honestly pretty old, so he did get the royalty camo. I think I just said diamond. I'm not even sure, but the royalty camo, he got it uh, within the first, like, two or three weeks, I want to say. He got it very early on. He did grind out for the royalty camos on the assault rifles, and it does look pretty good. On the current-gen consoles, on the Xbox 360, PS3, it looks awful, but on next-gen, on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, it looks awesome, and I really, really wish I had a next-gen console. I probably will be getting one in the near future. And that is where I'm going to ask you guys a question. Should I get the PlayStation 4 or should I get the Xbox One? I have no idea. I really don't, like, I am an Xbox player. I, I mainly play on the Xbox 360. But I'm not really like, oh, I have to buy the Xbox. I have to stay with Xbox. I don't really know. And, you know, I, I really only play Call of Duty. I do play GTA, and that's on both consoles. Um, but I really only play Call of Duty, so if... I don't really care about the other games that come out. Now, I do want to have a console that is overall, like, just good. A good console for other things. Kind of like an entertainment box, I guess. And I'm kind of leaning towards the Xbox One for that side of things. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. I want, like, detailed comments down below because I have no idea. Like, say I have the... Or say I sh you should get the Xbox One or get the PS4 and then give a few reasons on to why I should get it Um, because I am going to be reading through every single comment. I'll be replying to most comments um so just please give me your feedback give me your comments because I, I need i need a, i need some kind of influence on which one i should get because i have no idea and i do want to get one so anyways guys hopefully you're having a great day make sure to follow us on twitter instagram if you don't already also drop a like it, it takes like two seconds um if you did enjoy of course only if you enjoyed but yeah if we could shoot for 500 likes that'd be crazy make sure to go check out carnage tanks channel down in the description below also guys if you are new to carnage clan make sure to hit that subscribe button we're gonna be posting crazy dna bomb gameplays in the near future also we got a lot of crazy like interesting content i'm not gonna i don't want to spoil anything we got some cool stuff planned for you all so i uh, look forward to that so yeah stick around subscribe to carnage if you are new hopefully you guys are having a great day and i'll see you later